Hi everybody, this is Roger in Kansas City and I'm back at the Billion Pixel View of the Rock Nest and I'm going to show you some oddities, anomalies, what I think are Martians and just some uh, things that I really can't explain. So let's, here we go. Here's there's the rover if you aren't sure what that is and we're going to go right over to the left of it and there's a rock over here and there's a some a couple of strange things on this rock it's this pointing one here it's just to the left of the rover pretty close to it on the picture um, first you see this lumpy thing and I'm using my Sony cam because I can zoom in better than the computer can and I get better color and better definition up to a point. If I get too close, I get too pixely. But there is what looks like a little monkey guy. You can see I get too close, you can't see anything. But there's, this is just an odd looking little thing. It looks like he's got a tummy with a Audi belly button. And on the same rock, just a little bit down from there, is a Martian guy sitting on the rock. There he is right there. There's his face, there's his body. Looks like he's just sitting there. And I'm gonna zoom in on him. That's a pretty good picture actually. And there's his eye, you can see he has kind of a nose and mouth part. This looks like a, you know, Jason mask of some sort. I, I think they have to wear some sort of protection because uh, they're just so susceptible to the Martian sun. Anyway, this looks like an arm, looks like a hand and uh, that's the Martian guy. I want to go ahead and pull back and right behind them this rock back here is a um, looks like a cave painting or a rock painting of another Martian guy. It's kind of pixely there. Let me pull back some. Um, there he is. There's a head, torso, leg, arm, looks kind of like the Mona Lisa, but again, there's that white face. Too bad it's in this uh, blurred out area right where he is, but I wonder why that happened. Okay, another little odd thing right over here is, uh, I'm not going to go into great depth on this one, but there looks like a guy in a hole. I'm not sure what that is, but it looks like a little something going on there. Okay, pull them back. I'm going to go pull all the way out. Um, well, a few days ago I did a video called John the Baptist because it looks like a guy praying. And it still does look like a guy praying. And here, here's John the Baptist over here. That's him there. I'm going to zoom in just a little bit. And uh, I gotta readjust my camera some. But there he is, right there. There's something. Uh, there's there's some really weird stuff going on here that I can't explain right now. But just to the right of John the Baptist, and up a little bit, there is something really odd here. Um, here's another one of those Martian guys with the same kind of mask on that we saw on the little guy on the rock. And there's a shoulder, arm, hand. There's another guy, and it looks like he's got this silvery looking helmet on or something. But he's right behind him, and it looks like he's trying to grab him or something. I know it sounds, I know how that sounds. Anyway, over here, <laughs> over here, <laughs> excuse me, I have a cold. But this is uh, Abraham Lincoln, the bust of Abraham Lincoln, it looks like. And um, I gotta pull back some, get the pixelation out of here. Hang on a second, folks. Hang on, hang on. Oh, there's a little lady that lives on my desk. That's not part of a Martian thing. Oh, oh, you wanna see this? There's, there's a mummy. That's not part of Mars either. Anyway, going right back to the, uh, the film here. Uh, it's not really a film, it's a video. Um, Here's this Abraham Lincoln looking guy. Here's a guy in a hat behind him, sneaking up behind Abraham Lincoln, 
reenacting a Ford theater drama for these little people right here. I know you can't see it on this video, but that looks like little munchkins watching the guy in the hat attacking the bust of Abraham Lincoln, and I swear there's a little Tom Sawyer looking guy in a hat right here. I'm going to try to zoom in a little with my Sony cam so you can get a better view of it. Now I'm calling him a, a Lincoln, but he could be like a, I don't know, Elvis, but he's more a Lincoln ish, if you ask me. Alright. Moving right along. That's all on that one. Oh, one more little thing. Right here by Abe Lincoln and John the Baptist, Tom Sawyer, is right there. You'll see right where I'm circling here. I have to zoom in the Sony cam again. But I'm going to call him, he looks like a little cat robot. Um, he's going to be Catbot. But there's Catbot. But there's a little head, looks like a little body, and eh, there it is. Uh, I don't want to get overly scientific on everybody here. So we're going to pull back, and we're going to move across the way here. There's this kind of little mesa looking spot. It's a good landmark right in the middle of everything. <clears throat> we're going to move right on in, and right in the center of all this, got to really look hard and I will zoom in in just a moment but you'll see right there there's a little guy in a hat and there's that little white face and he's peeking from around that rock I know he is and there's that face there's that, that unmistakable white face right there there's a big brimmed hat I think they wear all this protective stuff um, again because I think the Martians are susceptible to being up on the surface. And I say that because I think they live under the surface. I think uh, the folks at JPL have to uh, make considerable editing choices as not to show us too much, but I do think they're showing us a lot and I wonder if that's kind of a passive type of disclosure on their part. Here's another guy right over here. He's on another video. My space shuttle video. But we're going to close in on him. He's got his dog with him, his space dog. Anyway, there is. I don't know. I'm gonna, he looks like he's working on something there. Hang on a second. Okay, here he is. Here's his head. Here's his shoulder, arm, elbow, arm, hand. He's got a little critter back there behind him with little red eyes. I'm going to zoom in with Sony Cam. Try not to be too pixely here. That's about as good as I can get. But there he is. And um, so there you are, Mars guy, Mars dog, hanging out on Mars, working on this thing. And I'm going to move out just a little more. Oh, I'm going to show you one more little thing here. Excuse me, I'm dying of a cold. Um, but my cold will not stop me from uncovering the secrets of Mars. Nothing can stop me, except maybe these guys in the black vehicles in front of my house. Okay, look at this thing. Now, I know I'm not, I'm not one of these guys that wants to say that rock looks like Elvis or Abe Lincoln, but this rock, I don't think this is a rock. I think this is an animal. It, it, it has animal features. It looks like it has, like, I don't know, an armadillo skin. So I don't know if this is the front end, if this is his head here, or this bigger part is his head here. Let's say this bigger part is his head. But there's a mouth right there. There's an eye. There's a prehistoric looking thing. Here's the ridges on the back. There's a leg. I guess this little thing here is his tail. Um, but there he is. This looks, I don't know, this might be a dead one back there. or That might just be a rock. 
But there's something else just not too far from him. Looks like another type of creature. Might be the same thing at a different angle. But again, I think this is a head. This is definitely looks like it could be a little leg of some sort. Another leg back here. So there's that. There he is. They're hanging out on Mars. Well, that's all I'm going to do for this episode of Roger looking around Mars. Um, uh, let's, let's end with this guy here. Oh, this uh, my very first video was about these guys. It was a horrible video. I'm getting I'm getting a little better, but wait till you see what I put together on this. I have so much evidence. This is a robot. This is some giant articulated moving mechanical item, everybody. And if you can't see that, you got to go see America's contacts and eyeglasses and get you something so you can see this. But there's his head, there's a body, there's a big rotating thing where his hip is. This was a leg, that was a leg, this is an arm. You can see these all throughout here. And there are literally, I think, hundreds if not thousands in this area. And I can show you, I will show you the video. Um, this might be hard to see, but I kind of think this is a guy sitting here looking at him. Now this may be another part of the robot that fell off, and there are lots of parts. The more I look at how people are obscured, um, these could be gigantic. I mean, this may be, if, if that, let's say, that's a 30, that could be a 30 foot tall robot. And I know it goes against everything they're saying, what the scale is around here. But that could be a really big thing. Um, I'm just looking at that. I don't know what that is. I'm not done yet. Anyway, but there's another one right there. You see, he's got a little collapsed head. But there's his face. There's that skin-colored face. Look, skin-colored face. Eye, nose, mouth. Let's see. Eyes, nose, mouth. And, and uh, there's another torso. That's where his head went. Another torso. Anyway, I'm getting. I'm going off on a tangent here. That's enough for now. And let's, let's leave off with, look at a, a pretty nice mountain view there of Mount Sharp, where there is incredible stuff going on over there. These Martians are strange guys, but I guess they think we're kind of weird too. If I was a Martian, I'd be out there messing with this thing. Anyway, <laughs> this is Roger in Kansas City, signing off. Have a nice day, and all you people on Mars, you guys have a nice day too. Bye-bye.